Hello everyone, it's Nick from the Michigan Assistive Technology Program, back with another piece of AT today. Today we have with us the Amazon Echo Show, and this is one of the most updated versions of it. Before we get into things, let me explain a little bit about the Echo Show. So, there are many generations of this device. It has been around for many years now. And essentially what this device does, it is a smart home device. So it allows you to search things, ask it questions, play videos, communicate with others, and whether that's through a phone call, a message, a text message, um, or a video call. And I think what's really nice about this specific generation is some of the features that it's updated with, like a motion camera that will follow you anywhere you move in the room. Uh, along with this camera, it allows you to monitor whatever room it's in when you're not home. But there's a very wide selection of things that this device can do, and so it really is assistive in a lot of different ways. And so it depends what you are using it for. Um, but it is nice to have in any home. I think anyone who has this will find great use with it, whether it's just simply asking it questions, or whether it's communicating through it to others, or whether it's simply just using it for the entertainment aspect. It's just a nice device to have around. Let's get into some of the features of what this specific generation can do and what all Echo Shows can do. How Echo Shows work are similar to other Alexa devices. If you are familiar with Alexa devices, you know that to power them or get any feature to work, you must say Alexa and then a phrase. So I have my device muted right now from hearing me. So I'm going to unmute it and we're gonna try some of these phrases. So let's start with the entertainment aspect. So you can ask Alexa a numerous amount of things like Alexa, play me a YouTube video. Alexa, play music. Alexa, let's play a game. I'm a sports fan, so let's play a sports highlight video on YouTube. Alexa, find me sports highlights on YouTube. Searching YouTube. And you can see it's searching YouTube right now. And on the screen it now has pulled up a list of different sports highlights from YouTube that I can now watch. So now that I've searched it, I can look through this list and just scroll. And now, the video plays. And a feature on this Alexa device specifically is that it follows you where you move. So if I lean forward or move back, the video will follow with me. So very nice if you are moving around, like let's say in a kitchen, Alexa, Stop video. Okay. Really, that's the entertainment side of it. Let's move forward to the informational side of it. If you've used an Alexa device before, you know that it can give you a variety of answers to a variety of questions. Pretty much anything you want to ask, it can search the internet for and find an answer to. Alexa, what will the weather be like today? In East Lansing, it's 32 degrees Fahrenheit with cloudy skies. Today, you can look for snowy, rainy weather with a high of 36 degrees and a low of 25 degrees. Perfect, thank you. So, whenever you have a quick question, this is another convenience that this device can offer. You can also do things when it comes to information like setting reminders. So it will not only give you answers, but you can also have it do requests for you, like setting an alarm or making a reservation or even setting a timer. So let's try that. Alexa, set a timer for 30 seconds. 30 seconds, starting now. And as you can see, it's now started the timer. And for 30 seconds, it will then count down on the screen. And once it is done, an audible cue will play from the Alexa device. So any moment now, five seconds.
Alexa, dismiss. So as you hear me saying the different commands, you'll realize that there is some familiarity that you need to get with this device. So as you use it more, it will become more familiar and you will learn the phrases better. That's just a learning curve you will have to get used to. It's important when you are trying out this device to really try it to the fullest extent because you want to make sure it works for you in a variety of ways and that you're really getting the use out of the money spent. So another great feature about this Alexa device is the communication side of it. As we enter a time where it's going to be darker earlier and winter is creeping up on us, we really want to make sure that we are doing the things that we need to as we get more socially isolated. And so there are several things that can really help for social isolation. And one of them is being able to communicate with others via over the phone or maybe a video call or even text. But it really helps to have a device like this to be able to get that face-to-face -face connection so that you don't lose out on what you could possibly have in an in-person situation. So to show this, I'm going to do two different examples. One is I'm going to do a regular phone call. And this is just done because the Alexa device is hooked up to my phone. And when you are in the Alexa app, you can go to settings and then communication and customize what contacts you'd like to add to your different Alexa devices. So here I have added my mom's contact. And so for both of these calls, I will be calling her just to show you an example. So let's start with the phone call. Alexa, call mom. Calling mom's mobile from Nicholas. Hello. Hello, just seeing if this works for a video. Hello. How exciting. Yeah. How was your day? It was good. See, so you can hear it clearly and all you need to do to hang up the device is say, Alexa, hang up phone call. By the way, you can make phone calls to up to 10 phone numbers from your Alexa devices. I'll automatically add numbers to your Alexa to phone contact list as you call them. You can also view this list in the Alexa app. And that is how you make a phone call. So to make a video call, you can either use it through the AT&T account that you have, a Skype account, or through a Verizon account. Now I used Skype for this purpose, and my mom also is going to be receiving the call from Skype. If you have a Verizon or AT&T, I encourage you to use that as well. And along with that, there's also two other mediums you can use for video calling, but these are group video calls that they would be used for. An Echo Show can also join in on Zoom meetings and in on Chime calls. Besides the cellular calls and the video calls, you also are able to get into those group meetings as well so that you're not left out. Let's try the video call through Skype. Alexa, call mom. Calling mom from Nicholas on Skype. And here we'll see the video turn on. All right, sorry, I know I'm blowing up your phone. Just want to show them the video call. And as you can see here, you can see the video coming through. And how do I, how do I sound on your end? Sounds very clear. Okay. It's actually like you're in the room with me. Oh, see, perfect. So it's like I'm in the room. And then once again, all you need to do to hang up is just say, Alexa, end call. And there we go. And now we are back to the home page. So those are some of the features of the Alexa device. Specifically, this one is the Echo Show. So like I said before, this is a very versatile a smart home device, and it can be used for many purposes. If you're interested in this device and would like to schedule a demonstration or possibly try it in your home, please contact our program. Once again, this is the Echo Show. I really hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you next time.